Kids. Okay, wie geht's euch? Are you guys okay? Are you ready for me to bring it home? Yeah! Just be prepared, you have to take your shoes off in a second, okay? Also, ich rede jetzt über Trainingsintensität, Training Intensity. Some um, misconceptions that I like to go over. Go hard or go home. I'm not gonna go to the gym unless I freaking kill my, sorry, I shouldn't swear. Unless I kill myself, and uh, uh, then I'm not going, unless I'm gonna get a really hard workout, okay? So this is one of the misconceptions. Hustle culture, okay? In our society, we really reward hustle culture. Wow, I did. I only slept four to six hours the last week because I was getting so much stuff done at work. I am a person who puts work above all else, okay? And you know what? Our society actually really rewards hustle culture. And what do we learn about the threat bucket? Okay, at some point, it's going to overflow. There's going to be a lot of compensations from your nervous system in one way or the other. And the last misconception is, if I kill myself, I did good, and now I deserve to eat or to rest. So how many times have I heard from people, boah, ich bin wirklich jetzt ausgepowert, und jetzt kann ich ein Kuchen essen, okay? Viele von euch haben auch zu mir gesagt, boah, Kuchen essen ohne Workout, okay? You feel like you need to kill yourself in order for you to deserve food. That's kind of messed up. All right? So, does that mean you should come here and then, you know, take a walk in the park while you're training? No, that's not what I'm saying. You still need to come here. You still need to work hard. But the following quote I have taken from the, a book called The Talent Code. It's a wonderful book. I highly recommend that you read it. And the quote is, the trick is to choose a goal just beyond your present abilities, okay? To target the struggle. Thrashing blindly does not help, reaching does. As a coach, it is my job to see, hey, I just want you to go just outside of your comfort zone. I want you to reach a little bit, okay? But I don't want you to smash your head into the wall. And that's how you should look at training intensity as well. So remember, it's about reaching and not about thrashing, okay? Just, okay. So moving well is more important than moving more, all right? The better we can control our joints, the better movement quality we have, the more predictable our movement is for our brains, and therefore the lower the threat bucket. Noah had said, you cannot get verbesserungen when your Ima is full, okay? That was my Denglish for you guys. If, if my threat bucket is too full, it is very hard to get increases in performance, okay? Move well, not more. Once you move well, you can move more. Now, we're gonna test how well you guys move, okay? Yes. Wenn ihr möchtet, bitte eure Schuhe ausziehen. Ihr könnt die Übung auch mit euren Schuhen an, aber es ist ein bisschen schwierig, weil es sind Zehenspitzenübungen eigentlich. So. Ihr könnt sitzen bleiben, wenn ihr möchtet. Du kannst auch stehen. Stehen ist ein bisschen schwieriger. Okay, so I said we need to have good joint control. Let's talk about the joints in your foot. Wie viele Gelenken sind in eure Füße? The physiotherapist, you don't say anything. Okay? How many joints, you guys? I'm going to answer the question for you. 32 Gelenken sind in eure Füße. Okay, you got 32 joints in your foot. Every single joint is responsible for shock absorption. All right? How well can you move these joints? Let's try. Alle zehn Spitzen auf den Boden lassen jetzt und nur eure dicke Zeh heben. You can try one side or you can try both sides. Can you leave all of your toes on the floor and just lift the big one? <laughs> Tiana's like, nope. <laughs> okay, if you get a cramp, that's normal. <laughs> okay, shake it out a little bit. Jetzt, nur die dicke Zeh auf den Boden lassen und die kleine Zehenspitzen heben. Okay? Ohne dass sie hebt den Fuß. That, den Teil hier muss auf dem Boden bleiben. <laughs> yeah? Good. Oder jetzt machen das anders so. Alle zehn Spitzen klein und groß heben. Die Bälle von euren Füßen bleibt auf dem Boden. Und jetzt nur die dicke Zehe runterdrücken. Okay? Oh, that's so hard. All right. Kurz ausschütteln. Und jetzt versuchen wir, die, 
Dr. Halusis zu contract, okay? Das uh, anzuspannen. So, I know it's hard to see. You guys, I didn't do this well. I should have taken a video. Um, <laughs> you're going to try to bring the ball of your foot to the heel of your foot and contract this muscle right here, okay? This muscle right here. That means it comes from Flachfüße oder Plattfüße und dann hast du einen Bogen im Fuß, okay? Can you do this? Yeah? So, if you get a cramp, that's also very normal. <laughs> genau, yeah. Okay, take a rest, you guys. The muscles in your foot are exactly like the muscles in your eyes. They can be trained. How many people have done foot strengthening exercises before they got orthotics or Einlagen, okay? These foot muscles can be trained. If you do not train them, you will get Plattfüße, you will get Hanux Valgus, okay? This muscle is responsible for pulling the big toe out, okay? Now, you guys, you can eure Schuhe wieder anziehen, wenn ihr möchtet. <laughs> wenn es euch unangenehm ist, aber you can also relax, like your living room. So many people, we do not pay attention to our feet. Now, why is this a big deal? As I said before, good joint control means good movement, which means you can move more. Many people don't do that. And what is the problem with that? Wolfs and Davis's law says that our bones and our tissues remodel ourselves themselves according to stress. So if you can't move your feet well, your bone structure, your tissues will change. Why is that important? Every time you step into the ground, every time you take a step, okay, while walking, it is about one time your body weight on every step, that makes sense. Once you start jogging, it is two to three times your body weight with every step. Once you start sprinting or running, four and a half to five and a half times your body weight with every step. So imagine that your feet, these are unbeweglich, they're like a block, it's like a brick, okay? You don't know how to control your feet. Du kannst die Zehenspitzen nicht spreizen, okay? These 32 joints are not doing their job to absorb the weight of your body. What happens then? Where does the force go? It travels up your leg, okay? Your knee has to take the force, your hip has to take your force, the back. So all of you guys who are doing a lot of running training, hours and hours and hours and not taking care of your feet, okay? In the end, due to compounding, very small problems will become very big deficits. Hi, Clara. <laughs> so... If our goal is Langlebigkeit, if our goal is longevity in life and in sports, it is my wish that you, at any age that you are, that you will be able to play any sport that you want, okay, for as long as you want, all right? There is nothing that bothers me more when people come up to me and they say, ja, ich bin zu alt. No, okay, that is not my future, and I certainly hope that it is not your future. So if we keep longevity for life and sports as the goal, We need to be strong enough to have sufficient endurance for our sports and life's demands, okay? We are not necessarily at this gym, the Craftletics training is not focused on aesthetic changes, okay? We talked about how, um, what is aesthetically valued now, the body type that is valued now in society is very dependent on the media. If you wish to do bodybuilding or um, change your body composition, that is a completely different type of training, And that you can totally do that as well if you want. It is another lifestyle where you have to weigh and measure every single thing that you eat, okay? It's not for me. My sister is great at it, but I'm not about it. Um, moving well, seeing well, balancing well, and breathing well. So if we keep the goal in mind, if we want to improve strength, we have to keep hypertrophy training to a minimum. That means this bodybuilding exercises because it actually takes a lot of energy and it reduces your ability to form or build strength, actually. So... Bigger muscles does not mean stronger, okay? The second point is that 80% of your workouts need to be underneath this burn, um, uh, this burnout, this burning feeling. So when you're working out, you're like, oh, you're really looking for the burn. 80% of your workout intensity needs to be below, be below this burn threshold. Otherwise, what happens is cortisol stress levels go up and your return on investment is not as high anymore, okay? And the bulk of your time should be spent on skill developing and it needs to be at around 50% intensity in order for your joints and your ligaments to be conditioned to the workout or the movements that you want to train, okay? So if we continue to keep our goal in mind and we want to improve endurance, 
We should keep workouts actually short, which is why they are 60 minutes long, in order to prevent increases in cortisol. So those people who are going to the gym, going really hard for one and a half, two hours, sometimes three hours, what happens at some point is that your cortisol output is gonna go higher. And so this stress output or this stress reaction is gonna be counterproductive to your development, actually. And we want to limit the burn of the training to 20% for endurance. And endurance exercising, running, cycling, swimming, depending on your intensity, anything that is above 75 minutes long will also be counterproductive. There will actually be a decrease in testosterone, okay? So if you're doing endurance sports, you want to keep it under 75 minutes. All right. So the question is, how often should I train? Tina, I want to do your craftletics workouts. How often should I train? That really depends on you and your threat bucket, okay? What's going on in your life? And it's very important that when you come here, we give you responsibility, okay? And when you come here and I ask you, how are you doing today? I'm not just saying to, you know, for no reason. I really mean, how are you doing today? And if you tell me you've had a bad day, then I know, okay, we got to adjust this training a little bit, right? Generally, you can come two to three times a day as long as you adjust the intensity for yourself, which is why when people ask me, Tina, wie viel Gewicht soll ich nehmen? I don't know, Frank. How do you feel today? Okay. <laughs> Take something that feels like a six out of 10 for you, okay? So it is your responsibility to adjust it yourselves. If you want to push a little harder, you can, but you need to be aware of your threat level. Remember, it's about reaching, not about thrashing. <laughs> and remember the big four. We want to see well, we want to balance well, breathe well, move well. And if we focus on moving better, okay, that is going to be so much more profitable for your nervous system, for your bodies, and for your health, and for your longevity. Okay, you guys, I thank you so much for all of your um, attention. And if, if these topics are interesting for you, if you want to attend workshops or read some of our blog articles, we finally, thank the Lord, <laughs> launched our new app. And you can download our app, download our app. You can sign up for trainings there, but also find out more of this information. We're going to post blogs next year and also hold workshops as well, okay? So I know that was longer than 60 minutes. We actually knew that was going to happen because we were rehearsed yesterday, but we thought we would do it anyways. So again, thank you so much. Have a coffee, hang around. Please help me put the chairs back and uh, we're going to start at another workout soon, okay? Thank you guys. Yay!